Hey, we're sitting here with Yves Charette of uh, Team Shredder and Subri. Um, we're talking about Michel Gagnon, who just signed with the UFC. Now, you've been long predicting that Mitch might have had one more fight, but in 2012, you really thought that he was going to get that call. Were you surprised it had come so early, uh, the day after Christmas? Uh, I think it was. So, I'm not sure if it was the day after Christmas or the day of Christmas. It felt like Christmas, so, yeah. you know, it was pretty good. Um, the thing was, uh, it, it, it's a last minute thing, which is great. Uh, great way to, f uh, to, to finish off the year, 2001. So now 2012, at least we can concentrate just on, on the UFC, you know, which is pretty good. Uh, so it, it was a shock and it was a surprise. And uh, it was kind of like when he called, he says, I got, uh, I, got, I got signed by the UFC. I got an offer by the UFC. I said, oh, okay, good, congratulations. <laughs> kind of stuff like that, right? And then I hung up, then it hit me. And I started sending him uh, messages because he was going to the Sioux for training. And uh, so I asked him, uh, you want me to go with you? He said, oh yeah, I'd love that. So uh, we started our, um, our uh, training camp a little earlier than anticipated. And, but we had to rush back to separate from medicals and stuff. So it was, uh, uh, to tell you the truth, it's been uh, one hell of a Christmas for us. So it's been nonstop and uh, it's, uh, it'll, it'll only continue. Uh, speaking of that training camp, how are things going to change here at Team Shredder? Uh, considering the fact it's a bigger fight now in the UFC, what are some of the things that are going to be happening here over the next month? Not much. I, I think there's a lot of people that want to come and train out uh, with Mitch now. Uh, once once you hit that plateau or that uh, level of, uh, of fighting, uh, UFC is like the NHL, right? So now that we have a, uh, a UFC fighter fighting out of Team Shredder, um, I think it's one of the great things and a lot of people want to be associated to that too. So uh, I, a lot of people from Timmins, I've been com communicating with people that are about the same size as Johnny Bedford, which is 5'10", 135 pounds, and uh, a few of my friends from uh, Timmins, uh, Timmins or uh, Total Martial Arts Center in, in Timmins that are going to come down during the weekend and train with us. The guys from the Sioux are going to come down too. So we have Ho Shin Sol in, uh, in the Sioux that probably will come down. Uh, Steel City MMA will come down as well. Um, then the guys from uh, Bruckman's are going to come down as well. Uh, Mitch is going down next week uh, or this week to, to fight or to help Antonio Carvalho train for his f upcoming fight at the UFC. So that'll help him quite a bit. And then uh, Richie Nanku, who's our uh, new uh, BJJ instructor, is moving down to Sudbury. So at least uh, we'll have quality instruction with uh, with Richie, and it should be fun. So. In all in all, what's going to change is basically the, the timeline has changed. That's basically it. Uh, Annie Lalone, who's the uh, the wrestling coach, uh, does really, really well with us. So uh, we've been working on that. Uh, I do the striking and the MMA part. Uh, so we've got a great, great team uh, doing everything. So I think uh, nothing will change that much. And like you mentioned, the call might have come a little little sooner than expected. But how do you feel your team is ready? Do you feel your team... You Excuse me, Mitch, as well as your team, are ready to make this plunge into the UFC, and you'll be ready for Chicago uh, on January 28th. Oh yeah, I think we're ready for sure. There's no if, ands, or buts. Uh, I think we've been doing quite well in the MMA scene. I uh, I know Mitch has only been fighting in Quebec, but that's the only place that it was easier for him to fight. Uh, he is a, a featherweight champion. Uh, he was going for the uh, magic weight belt, so. I think he has no. will have no problems. Uh, the big show, uh, Ringside's pretty big. Ringside uh, puts on a great, great show when they put on uh, good stuff. Uh, so I think that's not a big stress for Mitch right now. Uh, the the big, big things. So I think he'll do really, really well. He'll have a lot of fun. Uh, great experience for him. And uh, so that's that was one of the things. Funny thing too was that uh, see I was at UFC seven back in the day. And that was way back. Then the next time I went to the UFC was the UFC 97 in Montreal. And then I decided that I would never go back to a UFC until uh, one of my fighters would make it. And so that's, uh, that's where we are now. So it's pretty cool. And uh, that's what it is. It's UFC on Fox 2, January 28th. We're all excited to be cheering you guys on. And uh, see you there. For sure.